While she's getting her hair done, I'm going to go to the, the sponsors and get the mannequins that I need. And I pray that they fit because the ones we had before were like half mannequins that stood up. So I'm hoping that they do work in the car because I, I can't take the van because I can't get her in and out. So the hubby went to take... He was gonna go get the shirts and I told him no that I would do it. Why? I don't know. But it was just too much stuff that we had to get done. So I just told him I would do it. So he took um, Jace to get, finish his application process with his job that he got. Um, and um, so he's gonna do that. And then from there, he has to go straight to practice. So, because they have a track meet tomorrow, and then they have one um, Thursday also. So, it's just a lot going on. And my husband's like, well, are you trying to do all this stuff, you know, for the expo? And I'm like, really? We've been talking about the stuff that I wanted to do for three weeks now. And, you know, I just need some help to get it done. So last night I was up till probably, I was up till one o'clock doing the PowerPoint presentation, um, but still didn't go to sleep till four. So I just laid there in pain. Nothing was working and I was just miserable. Hey guys, so. I want to close the video out. Um, normally, you know, when I come home, I strip, get out of my clothes and put on my moo moo. I still have on my clothes. I'm so tired. I just ate. It's like 1130 I think and I just ate maybe like 10-15 minutes ago. I had a salad. I'm finally done with all of this stuff for this sports expo tomorrow. Me and my husband had to leave and go to Walmart at like 8 something because the printer decided it wanted to be out of ink and it kind of ticked me off because I printed stuff earlier and it was fine. And then all of a sudden it just started acting crazy. So 
I am um, about to get up and go to bed. Um, I've taken my medicine all but one. And um, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I can get some good footage for the expo and I'll have more productive. It's just today was just too busy. Once Easter was getting her hair done, I went to the corporate sponsor to pick up the mannequin. Then I went back to pick her up. Then I had to go to Dollar Tree. It was just too much today. So I apologize for not vlogging, um, you know, during that time frame. But it happened. So hope you guys have a wonderful night. And I will see you bright and early on Tuesday, the Lord's will. Because we have to be out the door by 8.30, I think he said. I don't even know. <sighs> So, so, so happy Tuesday, everyone. Head to um, the Sports Expo finally by 8:43. We can set up between nine and nine, you know, between nine and nine thirty, um, because the doors open at ten. We have two vehicles that we're taking because the hubby as soon as he leaves um, this event he has a track meet that he has to go to um, it's just a lot going on it, it really is and it's pretty much just going to be me and him today so It's just busy because like this is over at 12 then he's gonna go to the school and get Easter situated as she went to school um, and then he'll go straight to go pick up the athletes and um, the other coach and head about it's about 45 minutes to this track meet as well um, it's just a lot so I guess I'm getting stuck getting Jace from school I hadn't even talked about that he's normally out of school at 11 but he's gonna have to sit there today and um until or walk to the house because where he's at is like where we practice for track so um drive wise is three minutes but if he had to walk i don't know maybe 15 so more than welcome to walk if he has to but uh yeah so that's what's going on this morning i got up at like 7 i'm gonna say 7 30 i had my alarm set for 6 45 that didn't happen because i didn't go to bed till after one o'clock so it is what it is so i will bring you guys along with everything that's going on um some images of our setup it's nothing fancy i have no clue what to expect apparently i guess this is like i don't know if this is their fourth or fifth they've been doing it for a while but um this is the first time we ever knew about it and um yeah so i don't i mean we did what we could do with what we had you know what i'm saying like we can't we don't have like an elaborate budget of uh for marketing and stuff like that so um, I know God will work it out. We had a good prayer this morning, so the devil was trying to get me riled up, but I'm just like, no, because pretty much I've had to do all of this. My husband put everything in, in the van, but as far as like putting together the flyers, putting together, you know, the setup on how we want it, because he has no clue, because if it was up to him, he would just sit at a table with no tablecloth and be okay. I'm blessed. I'm happy that we have this opportunity to spread the word because like I told you guys before we are the only community-based full track and field program um, within like two counties so people have to travel just to get trained if they want to you know get better in track and field which is sad because if you go down south you know in Miami West Palm 
it's like big down there and the city supports them even as far as like Tallahassee area their city backs them to have programs but here it's like the good old boy system and if it ain't soccer football or baseball they're not interested you know what I'm saying so I'm we're hopeful we know that the word will get out because it has been getting out more and more and my husband never even though the program he's had um our nonprofit since like 2000 but the track club has been for like the past seven years um and he never really advertised because he started like he's always trained kids whether it was track baseball any sport he can pretty much train them but what happened was when his son was like, oh, you know, the Hershey's Classics, I don't even think they still do it, came to our the town. Um, this is way before me and him ever knew each other. Um, but they found out his son in middle school, like he could really run. And like he still holds records at his high school. That's how good he is. Um, and uh, he wanted was trying to find somewhere for him to learn more about track and field because he was in middle school and around here the middle schools they have programs but they suck because none of the coaches know anything about track and field they just do it because it's an extra check for them so he started training and then people saw him and say hey could you train my child and that's how the, the program was birthed um I started with one athlete and you know now we have almost 100 so god is good he doesn't like to advertise because he's like hey we need coaches i don't want to have all these kids out here and we only have a limited amount of coaches you know so we're trying to work that out and we know god will be sending some people our way um we had a parent that said he was really in the track and field he came out like the first two or three times and next thing we haven't even heard from him we're like okay um stuff happens and the kids will be like i don't want to do this so yeah it happens but let me quit babbling i gotta charge my phone i told my husband i gotta get a new charger today because mine is just completely shot like i had it on the charger but if i don't position it just right um it will not charge so i'm about to charge the rest of it. hey guys so finally done at the sports expo it really wasn't a lot of public traffic, but it was a great, um, sorry, the lighting. I'm in the van, so I don't have my little connector thing. Um, it was a lot of uh, good networking opportunities. Um, there, The city is super excited that we're bringing track and field here. Um, there's gonna be some Justin and Gatlin events um, that they're gonna be having, um, so we're like, really really excited about the future um i have like a headache and i don't i had something to eat um but it's like on this side of my head so i'm headed to go get jace from school um and then i have to go to walmart to get a phone charger because um my charger is pretty much like shot like i can't even position it to charge at this point so I'm gonna go to Walmart and just grab one um, and then I will be going home maybe I can get a nap in before Easter um, gets off of the bus at about 4 50 4 30 whatever I don't know my husband was like well you get to go home and take a nap I have to go straight to a track meet I'm like well that's what you chose to do I would have went with him but that meant we would have had to rent a vehicle um to get everyone in and we did not want to do that um the van has two row seatings in the back but we took one out in order to haul all of the track equipment um but yeah it was about 20 different vendors that were there i'll insert a picture of our booth Um, I really didn't take a whole lot of pictures. One of our organizations did um, present us with a check that um, we helped. So there was one of the local uh, running clubs. So we're super excited about that. So.
Hey guys, so I've made it home. It is definitely a migraine. Um, when I got to Walmart, I almost like to walk in there. It took everything out of me because my head was throbbing and then I started to get the nausea. So I stopped and got something to eat and I just took my migraine medication and I'm about to lay it down. Um, I think when I got to get some Coke in me, uh, cause the pill that I take has caffeine. So I think that was like helping some, but I went ahead and took a few or set and I'm going to lay down for a couple hours, um, until Easter, uh, gets off of the bus. So my husband knows what's going on and he's going to call me to make sure I'm up, um, to get her off the bus. So I'll hey come back. Guys, I'm up, uh, just waiting on an Easter bus to get here so I can lay back down. My head is still hurting really, really bad. And normally by an hour, the um, medication kicks in really effectively. And it's not like it's all on this side of my uh, head and like down to here for some reason. So as soon as I get her, um, off of the bus I'll lay back down um yeah I've got so much follow up stuff to do from this thing but I just can't and I'm just at a point to where I really just need a really good day I really do don't get me wrong I'm very thankful and blessed that I'm alive and I can feel pain but sometimes it's, it's a lot Cause it seems like I've had like a rough end of 2017 from august up until now with every month it was it's something so i'm just sitting here um i don't know what else to do like my heart rate is crazy fast it's like 122 and i still feel it just like boom 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 and I know that um, pill has caffeine in it, but it's never done this before. So, I don't know what's going on, guys. So, if you suffer from migraines, leave a comment below. What do you normally take? How long does it last? Um, what do you do to help it kind of go away? I would love to know because I used to literally have, when I... Before my hysterectomy, I had um, migraines every month, probably almost once a week. It was like really, really bad. And um, this is before I was diagnosed and I knew something was right. If I would be stressed, boom, here comes a migraine um, on top of everything else. But not knowing that, you know, lupus plays hand in hand. So what ended up happening after I had my um, hysterectomy because I had endometriosis, um, they were better somewhat. Like I would get them, but it was like only two to three, you know, every two months or so. But then once I got diagnosed with lupus and got on my meds, in a treatment regimen like my headaches went away and now i may have a migraine um every like one every two months maybe um but this month i've already this is my second one and i don't know what that means um i'm trying to give my bin list a one more month to see if i see any changes because my doctor said she really couldn't say if it was or wasn't helping because when I was off of those uh, three months, um, so she said to keep giving it a try because I don't know if it's not, you know, getting better by March, April, it's time to discuss um, other options because um, it's just too much, you know, it's just a lot right now. And I know headaches and migraines are linked with, uh, with autoimmune disease. Um, and I don't know if it's because when we got to the, um, sports expo, 
and we're setting up it when I say it was super hot I was pouring sweat and I really wasn't even doing anything strenuous because my husband was bringing the boxes in and all of that stuff um I'm looking out the window to see if her bus comes so Sorry. so I made a comment to the meet I mean expo uh director like hey is the air on and she's like oh this is february and i'm like i really don't care if it's february and i didn't tell her why but our booth was in a corner where it was nothing but windows because we were in a gym so when you would walk closer to the other to the front part it was cooler but it was so hot and i mean i was pouring so much sweat it was ridiculous um and i was like lady I don't want to say hey I have lupus and I can't get hot kind of thing um so eventually it started to cool down and I just sit there and I drink water but it was horrible I mean so I don't know if that's what triggered um I'm trying to see my cheeks rosy I can't even tell um I don't know if that's what triggered the headache probably now that I think about it so my desk is back looking a mess right now because of everything we had going on. I hope everyone had a good t Tuesday. Um, I don't really have anything else planned for today. I think tonight I'll eat some fish. Um, Cause I just need to get back on the diet. Like I've been so bad the week when you, I mean, when I had the flu, I didn't feel good. It didn't feel like cooking like I was supposed to, you know, then when I got the procedure, then after that, I got the infusion. I was, you know, weak and it didn't feel like cooking. So definitely my husband, he keeps fussing because he's like, just show me, you know, what you want to eat and how you prepare it. That way he said he would make the food for me, which I'm very thankful. Um so it's just a matter of our schedules coordinating so maybe on the weekend I can show him how to um you know how I do my fish how I pan sear it um I haven't tried this that white fish in the oven so all right it's just here